Dogs are nice fluffy animals that are known as man's best friend. Beak dogs are evil beaked creatures the size of a gorilla. Dogs have fuzzy ears and soft noses. Beak dogs are horrifying monsters that are used as mounts in the goblin military. I like dogs. I'm not the biggest fan of beak dogs. But despite my distaste for beak dogs, I had managed to capture a few, as well as a few trolls, during a goblin siege that had taken place a few years previous. I didn't have any ideas for what I should do with them, and so I felt bad, but I kinda just stored them in my prison. They ended up sitting around in their cages for a couple years, while I thought of ideas and worked on other parts of the fort. But after a while I wanted to clear space in my prison, and so I half-heartedly turned them into a zoo of sorts, but not really the kind that anyone wants to go to. Allegedly some dwarves like beak dogs for their beaks and hunched backs and off-putting chattering noises, but let me tell you, that seems to be a pretty rare opinion to hold. The zoo was not attracting any visitors at all, and was beginning to feel like a waste of space, so I went back to brainstorming once again. For a while I was stumped, but then a couple days ago it struck me. What do dogs love more than a dog park? Frolicking in the grass, hanging out with other dogs, smelling each other, clicking and chattering in ominous unison, just doing classic dog stuff. Dogs love pugs, and if nobody wanted to come to my zoo, I might as well set these dogs loose in a dog park of their own. I used the Wikipedia page for dog pugs as a design reference for my beak dog park, making sure to plan for all the essential aspects of a dog park. With that in mind, I walled off a section of cavern filled with moss, mushrooms, and spiders to become the main park area which definitely felt like ideal dog park, flora, and fauna to me. While construction was taking place, I made sure to keep multiple squads of dwarves stationed in the vicinity, because over the course of 8 years or so in this fortress, I had had multiple forgotten beasts show up and roam around my caverns, killing anything they came across. The carnage in this area in particular was really obvious, and so I had to make sure we would be protected if any of them came back. With the walls erected as per dog park guidelines, I turned my attention to building the necessary decorations and accoutrement of a dog park. This would be stuff like benches for the owners to sit on, a water feature with fresh water, and proper drainage so that the park wouldn't just turn into a drowning chamber when the water feature didn't get turned off. I also moved the cages for all four beak dogs, as well as the four trolls I had down into the dog park, so we could free them once we were done building. Obviously the trolls don't need a dog park, but without any captured goblins, they would have to do playing the role of owners. While building the water feature tunnel that would go from the river all the way down to the cavern, we accidentally stumbled into a section of cavern that we had left undisturbed for the past 8 years, and found it borderline entirely filled with spider webs. It turns out that the webs were the least of our worries though, because as soon as we found the cavern, a forgotten beast arrived to cause trouble. It was a massive beaver with no eyes and two tails, and it dashed for the opening to our fort. Luckily for us, but unluckily for it, the tunneling for the water feature had taken place just off the main training area for my most elite squads. So two pages of combat where my dwarves beat up a poor blind beaver later, we were back to finishing up dog park business. The water feature was built so that when water came down the stairs, it would come out of multiple holes in the ceiling of the park, like a very high capacity shower head. And the drainage tunnel was constructed going to the edge of the map, with fortifications curved into the edge to allow the water to pass through. An hour after starting, I couldn't believe my eyes. I was seeing a beautiful, fully functional dog park with benches for the trolls to sit on while their massive beaked freak monsters scampered to and fro, enjoying the mist from the water feature and taking pleasure in the view of multiple monster corpses around them. When I saw the way they pranced around the park, I knew I had done the right thing. Dog parks should be for all dogs. Even the ones that are entirely unrelated evil monsters that just have the word dog in their name. Of course the trolls immediately ruined it by smashing all of my grates and benches, but I just had to remind myself that I don't do it for the owners. I do it to see those beaked frowns turn into beaked smiles on every last one of those freaks.